One of the key enabling technologies for the mobile internet and the mobile web is wireless communication. And the full story of exactly how wireless communication works could be something that you could cover in an entire class that covered a semester. So there's no way I'm going to do it justice in five minutes. But let's talk about the basics. So, and the basics apply also to a number of different wireless technologies, whether we're talking about Wi-Fi, whether we're talking about 3G or LTE, whether we're talking about Bluetooth. All of these technologies fundamentally uh, operate in a similar, if not identical, fashion. And what's the challenge? So the challenge is I have a packet of data. That packet is a series of zeros and ones. It's binary data. Um, so you know it's a series of, of, of bits. And I need to convert that packet somehow into a wave form. So what's actually going to be sent over the physical media, which in this case is free space, is some wave form that looks something like this. And there are two different things that I can control about this waveform in order to transmit information. One thing is the amplitude of the signal, so how strong the signal is at any given point. And the other thing is the frequency of the signal itself. Because these signals are sent in frequency bands, and so I have a small amount of room where I can adjust the frequency slightly. And those frequency shifts can also be used to convey information. And how specific wireless technologies, whether it's 802.11b or uh, LT, you know, 4G LTE, perform this conversion is one of the things that tends to differ between these technologies because the specifics of the conversion are in some way uh, specific to the type of transmissions that I'm expecting. So if I need to send data over a kilometer versus 100 meters, uh, the encoding techniques may vary. But this is the, these are the fundamentals. What I can vary at the signal level is amplitude and frequency. So I convert this, um, and, and again, this process right here, this one arrow, is something that you could talk about for weeks. And if you learned exactly how that worked, uh, you would know a lot about how computers work and about how wireless works. So this signal gets, um, and, and so this signal is transmitted by the device that is trying to send data. So it has a radio on it, and that radio broadcasts a signal. Wireless is fundamentally, unlike wires, wireless is fundamentally a broadcast medium. I can do things to direct the signal through antennas, but that signal is going to propagate in free space. And even if I try to point it very directly in one particular uh, direction, there's still parts of it that are going to leak out into other areas. So to transmit a packet, I have to take the series of uh, ones and zeros, convert it somehow into a waveform that gets transmitted through free space. Then on the receiver side, so this is the sender, the receiver has to be able to detect this waveform and uh, invert or sort of reverse the conversion. So I, the receiver has to be able to start with this waveform and turn it back into the same series of ones and zeros that the sender was trying to send. And what makes this difficult, of course, is that once this signal begins to propagate through free space, it's subject to interference. Um, from just things in the environment, it tends to get uh, weaker over time. So as the signal travels farther and farther, the amplitude of the signal diminishes. Um, and there are also lots of, you know, there are lots of other uh, details in terms of how the receiver picks up the signal. But in general, the receiver is not going to receive or not going to sense the exact same waveform that the sender sent. And that's the challenge of decoding. That's what makes it difficult. And that's why sometimes wireless communications uh, don't arrive. I send a packet and make Maybe along the way the, the signal got too weak. Maybe there was some noise that came in here and sort of ruined part of my signal that was caused by who, who knows, another transmitter or a microwave oven or something like that. Um, but you know, if the signal is sufficiently clear at the receiver, the receiver uh, inverts this transformation, recovers the bits that the sender sent, and I have uh, a, a packet of data at, at the receiver. And so this is, again, sort of the fundamentals of how wireless work that apply across a wide variety of technologies. And if you think about this, you can see where some of the problems come into play. First of all, because wireless is a broadcast medium, if two transmitters try to transmit at the same time, their signals will interfere with each other and make it impossible, in many cases, for the receiver to accurately decode the signal. There's also an enormous amount of you know, a beautiful sort of engineering that goes on from converting the series 
series of bits in the packet to this waveform that's really designed to try to make it possible for the receiver to decode the signal despite interference, despite fading, the signal getting weaker, um, despite uh, cer certain parts of the signal not being detected accurately, etc. So um, this is the fundamentals of how wireless works. There's a lot more here. It's a really interesting topic. It's clearly very relevant to the modern day, but all of this works in the same way. Bits to a signal, and then the receiver a signal back to bits.